Right now, let's return to coronavirus stories. I told you earlier on what the northern region is doing, where three cases, three case, cases have been recorded there. One of them from Tolon district, uh, district headquarter, who returned to the area, while the other two are from the Nanumba South District. Health officials there have begun contact tracing of these cases. And the results are also coming from the testing center at the Tamale Teaching Hospital Public Health Laboratory, which began testing just last Thursday. The Northern Regional Director of the Ghana Health Service, Dr. Eliza, has been speaking to us. Listen. Over the weekend, from our new testing place here, we had additional uh, three new cases being positive. One from the Tolong District, which is a Kaya who came from Accra, and then two from Nanuba South who uh, had contacts to the cases that were sent to us from OT region. So that's how can we got the three new cases, which means our uh, total number will change from the 13 to the 16 if uh, they update it nationally. Let me say that um, the other information maybe we need to let the public know is that the Guineans we have said all along that um, four of them have, have uh, recovered and therefore we have discharged them. The remaining three, we continue trying to test them. Good to inform you that one of them also has recovered. So now we have five of them uh, recovering. We have two left to recover, then the game with them will be over. Um, we hope that the next test will do. The remaining two will also uh, remain uh, negative the second consecutive time. Then we'll be able to declare them also as uh, fully recovered. So that's the situation with the Guineans that we had. The other situation I want to draw attention to is that Yes, it is true that as a region, we are uh, having That's uh, Dr. D. Eleza, the uh, head of the uh, regions, the region's health directorate. Let's get on to the ground with our correspondent, Martina Bugri, who joins us. Hello, Martina. Hi, Gifty. Martina, so first of all, we understand that there are three more cases that, uh, that have been recorded over there and contact tracing is ongoing. Is there any latest update on this? Um, what we um, were told was that um, one of them happens to be somebody who returned from the Kaya and so they, they, need, they are doing the contact tracing on the persons he might have uh, come into contact with. And then the other is also some, somewhere, someone from Woolen Sea areas. And so they are doing those other contact tracing. But one thing that the health director raised concern was that um, because of stigmatization, people are beginning to uh, give them fake information. And that is really costing them a lot. He cited an example, somebody who said he was a catalyst. They had to travel all the way to Tatale only to be told that the person that not come from that place. They had to follow, and then they finally met a person. The person said, I am from this community, but I had to do this because I don't want to be stigmatized. The media to help educate people that people who recover or people who are uh, sick of COVID-19 are not a death warrant. Martina, let's talk about the laboratory, the new laboratory for the for the region that has just, you know, started the testing. It's the, the work started on Thursday. What are officials there saying about the exercise so far? I didn't get that. If you could, uh, I, I'm talking repeat. about I'm talking about the fact that there is a new testing center there um, in the region, uh, which you've all, all very well filed a report about uh, last week. Um, They've started the testing there. What are officials there saying? How is it improving uh, the process, the, pro the processing, you know, of knowing who in this region has coronavirus? 
Um, the health director said um, it, it has fastened the process. In the past, they would send the samples to Kumasi, and that would take up to three, four days, or sometimes a week, to get the results back. And so while this, uh, they are still waiting, some of them, uh, people move around. And so he says that it has improved um, the time waiting for a result, and this would help them to be able to get the people who are infected very early for treatment. That's one. It also helps them to be able to restrict them, and so they are not able to uh, interact with more people like it would have happened if they have to wait for about a week to get the result. Finally, Martina, give us details on the Burkina Bays who have been arrested as well. Uh, we are told that um, they were traveling, they came through on a proof route into the country and they were intercepted at the Savili Group uh, checkpoint. They offered bribes to the immigration officers so that they can have their way and pass through. But they turned down the offer and they were arrested. And so they have been sent back to Paga where they will be repatriated back to their hometown. Were these people tested? That we are not told in the press statement um, which the immigration office just released. Martina, thank you very much for that update. Martina Brugui there, corresponding in the northern region with that update on what's been happening there. Three new cases recorded there.